Great. That was incredible. Thank you. Whew. Yeah. So I'll go and then Sultan, his class got out late, so he'll just finish off in like eight minutes at the end. Uh, uh, timer's about to end. 733, eight minus eight, 752, one. Okay. Okay, who's here? Geo, powerhouse, Guerrero, Lieutenant Guerrero. Lone Wolf, Arslan, Real Fam, William Gomes, Zeke Wolo. I think he's in Africa. Monster, Chris Cruz, Nando, Camilo. Just sent him a yoga product to heal his back. Daniel Newberry, Zothies, Hot Sex. Octavio, Mirin, Damien Say, Zay, Jaime. I can't rhyme Tad Addicts again. That, that was three in a row, but Jesse Paul, all the base four guys. Stephen Lacha. Okay, we, we're fam. This is open gathering. It'll be put on YouTube. More people will see it. <clears throat> Do you have the courage? Oh, you're in Toronto. You see that, William Gomes? He's in Toronto. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so there you go. Two guys in, uh, and it's pronounced C, Damien C. <clears throat> All right. Do you have the courage to put your life out there? And you don't have to stream, but is your life transparent? Could people magnify and zoom in? on all the activities of your life. Now, people, let's fuck people. Could the people in your life zoom in? Who are the closest people to you? The people you live with? The people, who's, who needs to mute? William, you gotta mute. Let's say you're, you're, you're here to study this stuff and you're probably looking to get women. You're probably looking to get your life together, to get confident. At the end of the day, it's going to be so much to do with women. And that's what AZD is teaching is you've lost orientation with yourself because you're doing so much to get women. That's the prize for you. And that will be empty in the end. You're going to need alignment with guys. You're going to need purpose. You're going to need to have a bigger vision. You could call that spirituality too. And that will make your vision bigger than any materialistic vision could be. If you boost it with that, that's like that fourth dimensional steroid for your mind, spirituality. Now, we're not looking to have a relationship, but relationships will come if you actually have women around you that are submissive. Do you actually, do you want the women to be submissive with you? I haven't gotten the most women of all the guys here. There are guys here that get lots of women if you're counting number of vaginas. What is the dynamic between you and that woman? How does she treat you? How does she talk about you? When you're not around, how does she talk to you? What are you creating with her? Anything? Or are you just throwing away hours of your life to a woman that has nothing to do with what you're doing in life? Do you have a life that could receive a woman into it? If you did have a woman in your life, consistent and submissive, just a frictionless relationship where you do what you want and she's right there supporting you, applauding you, rubbing your shoulders, bringing you food, doing your laundry, sucking your dick, saying, thank you, sir. Are you able to be transparent with your life with her? Or are there aspects you'll need to hide? 
you're going to need to be transparent with her to get that second woman also in a submissive dynamic. When I was a lesser player, I won't even call it a pickup artist. <clears throat> it's kind of like the difference between like someone who like, you know, puts a piece of uh, one of those see-through papers over top of a drawing and you draw it like, because you can see the drawing underneath. That doesn't make me an artist. It makes me a copy sketcher or whatever. But I was still, so I wasn't a pickup artist. I was just copying, but I was a player. I was trying to be a player. I've become a player. In my lesser player days, I had multiple women on rotation, five or more women on rotation, but I was a lesser player. I wonder what my dynamic, if I could go back five, six, seven years and see that when I first started and I was studying the Neil Strauss method, but I was a lone wolf out there. And I met, I came across RSD guys and other guys in my small 150,000 college town doing the pickup thing. You like just come across them and you try to relate because you want to wing, you know, and what I was able to do using AZD's information of how to use my value and my survival value to whatever, what, like I got so many women through the acro yoga community. You might not call it pick up the way you're doing it, but argue with the results. I don't know where I was negging or, or running a gambit or whatever, although I use the cube a lot, a lot. I was like a master of that shit, bro. It, it was, it was like, I had, okay. So I had the most pins on the university of Oklahoma wrestling team before I got in a fight with the coach, but I had the most pins. So I had that award for that's an award, the most pins on the team. I had that move that like I could finagle the person into that position. And then once I got them there, that was my move. They call it the twister or the cement mixer, the way you hold the chin. I had secrets. I learned from the best in Pennsylvania who like invented the move. And so I could maneuver the person into that position and then it was money. And that's like what the cube was for me. You know? So what is the dynamic between the women and you? You're going to need the woman to be fully submissive to you consistently, and you'll need to have your life transparent with her to be able to stabilize with a second woman, have stability, a stable second woman. That's also submissive to you. It's not going to work if you're not submissive. It's not going to work if you have to hide things. It's going to accumulate into some weird withholding that is going to accumulate into some other shit. you have to hide it. and this is where ethics comes in and it sounds so dry it sounds like that's that's not what we're here to do and we, we want vaginas but to stabilize your life and keep producing to be transparent it is a good idea to send her your schedule uh she should be able to know your schedule. Yeah. But you don't have to send it to her. I mean, the way AZD does it, I mean, he's organized multiple women that also live together. And so there's a lot of communication about the schedule and it helps the woman to stabilize in her mind. Like when she can expect that you'll be here and, and there, and that, like when she doesn't think you're being sneaky, because it really, when you have the multiple jealousy plot line of long-term relationships, she will blow up every uncertainty into a problem. But if she has certainty, then you have a domesticated woman. She just needs that to rest on. She needs that certainty in her mind. But you don't have to tell her your schedule. I mean, it ends up working out. Like my girl knows, don't message me anything serious before this certain time when curtains are up. And then she knows that I'm on meeting from 10 until 11.15. She knows that I'm on meeting at 7 p.m. almost every night. She knows when I'm at yoga. I'm like, I'm at yoga because I need her to know that I, like, I'm not available for a text. She knows when I'm hanging out with another girl. She doesn't really text during that time. But then it becomes weird if you're hanging out with another girl and she doesn't know it. And then she's texting, you don't get back to her. And then later, man, and then all the suspicion comes up. And then 
It just creates more problems for you if you want to keep her around. You, like she is an autonomous free will person. She can decide it's not for her. And that's going to be based on her feelings. And if she feels like crap about the thought of you being with other women or whatever, she's just going to migrate away from you. You know, I heard Shamir say something about a millionaire's club. And if you don't know uh, how to contain, hold that value or something like when you do these millionaire's clubs, this is the private party where we have models or hired guns or whatever that are hired for the event. And there's like a rotation, like a musical chairs where AZD will feed you questions and dialogue that will get you into a deep comfort and connection building dialogue. So it fills in that part of your game. And you get into this dialogue with the girl for five, 10 minutes. There's some group dialogue and then a rotation. And so you get a lot of sets of comfort, basically. And it's pseudo comfort. It's like fake, right? The girl is hired, but it's like gaming a stripper. Can you make it real? You know, girls have, uh, guys have gotten girlfriends. Guys have gotten laid from the girls that were at the Millionaire's Club. But that's due to their own game. But the, if, the, if the point of the party was everybody get laid, it would be a different party. We should just hire some hookers. The point of the party is to improve your game, to rev it up. Like you go to a training camp for bodybuilding and then you go back to your home gym and you're like, you got all these techniques and all this stuff and you're working on it now. And I'm maybe unconsciously competent of a lot of what I do, but I think it was invaluable. Like the experience, the money spent and the time to get that interchange of dialogue with a woman and you're, you're contesting with her. You're jockeying for position, mental position to su mentally submit her. And it's not to defeat her in like an argument type uh, situation. It's to defeat her in a pleasurable type way where you show her a better way and you show her how strong you are and that her weak ass ideas don't hold any weight with you, but in a way that makes her feel good. Some, it's, a, it's a dominance, it's a mental dominance. And like Eros was saying, getting involved in the game, getting in the game, getting in the dialogue with the woman and attempting to defeat her, not because she's so important, but because you're so important. And when you accumulate these skills, you don't lose them as long as you keep practicing. You're investing in you gaming with the woman, playing this game of chess, doing this mental jujitsu, this sexual jujitsu. Ah, that's what it is, sexual jujitsu. Mental, psychosexual jujitsu, that's what game is. And when you receive a woman into your life long-term and there's transparency, you will come up in what's called ethics in your ability to confront situations, confront her bullshit, confront your bullshit where you're not being fully honest or transparent, even with yourself or with her, multiple women living in a base. All these things will raise your level of ethics, accountability, being able to voice when something doesn't feel right and discerning when you're just being a little bitch inside, not feeling right, versus you don't feel right because you said something that goes against your values, or you didn't say something, and that goes against your values, that you didn't say something. So AZD comes in with the camp, let's say Unbreakable, teaching that advanced alpha mindset, and you get a perspective, a reference for what it means to alpha up on your life, alpha up on the women, alpha, alpha up on your excuses. Like someone said, the, the, one of the sales guys asked a question and one of the guys he was talking to was like, I don't have $97, basically. I don't have, I'm tight on money right now to sign up for Dragon's Lair. But a message earlier, he was complaining about how he gives all his love to these women and they don't appreciate it. <laughs> and I told him to say like, well, that's why you're having so much trouble with women. You can't even afford to invest $97 in yourself. What a cheap ass. You're giving all that love. Like you think that's what she wants your love. She wants your love if you're powerful as a man. If you're not powerful, your love is worthless. You want a hobo on the street giving you all his love versus Donald Trump giving you 1%. 1% of Donald Trump's love is like worth a city. But then there's that Cobra Tate game where it's like money, more money, more money, more power, as if that's it. There's ethics here that holds the power, holds the frame. Are you center of your relationship? Are you respected by your peers? Are you free in your expression? Because at the end of the day, you sleep with yourself and at the end of your life, you die by yourself.
Okay. Are there any questions before I hand it over? I have two minutes. Any questions or comments? I think there are so many ingredients to this game that AZD teaches. Game is life. And for so long, I had a kind of game that was separate from my life. But I was simultaneously studying AZD while I was studying Vince Kelvin and all the other games. And so I was always on this path, this journey of integrating my game in my life. And it naturally bleeds over. Like if you learn how to entice a woman and stimulate her with value, you will get a little bit better at sales. You will get a little bit better at talking with your family and your parents and things. You learn things. And eventually you see how it all bleeds over into it, each other. That the, the genetic code and how to communicate with the feminine and the masculine, like how AZD teaches on dragons or how to communicate to the masculine. You know, some of the biggest ladies men are some of the worst with guys. That's why enforcing discipline can be so difficult. They don't know. Some of the guys that are so good at enforcing discipline have difficulty with women because they're so rigid. Like myself, been around guys all my life, high level, tough guys. That's nice. I got that under my belt and I'll use that while I learn the other thing. And I am, and I'm mastering it. And I keep going, like I was telling the Kuse on the meeting, on the officer meeting. You know, having your shit together, having your life together, while you master this game and art, art of communication and expression with the woman. Man, it's a never ending journey. And it keeps going and going and going and you ripen like wine, you age like wine. And your limitation will be just your imagination and what you see for yourself. Mindset will be everything accompanying you forward. Otherwise, you're just going to be that, like, you know, sketch copy on carbon copy paper of what you've seen other people do with their imagination. All right, I'll hand it over to Guardian Base One, Sultan. You have until AZD is out here and ready to go. And then we switch over to the Unbreakable. So there are many guys here that are not on, on Unbreakable. Man, dude, that's the code. That's the algorithm for multiple relationships. He's given us seven laws already that just go in order logically, step one, step two, step three, all the way up to seven of how to have multiple relationships while you're stable center and you're unbreakable in that relationship. Doesn't mean it doesn't hurt, but it means that's what it is. It's the code to that. So God damn it, get on this shit. imcbase1.com. Motherfuckers, here's Sultan. <laughs>